The Potential Academy brings you maintaining positive mental attitude in daily life. This is easier said than done. Maintaining a positive mental attitude in your daily life will make you a more likable, positive, and productive person. However, to get to this point, you will need to put everything we have talked about into practice. Maintaining a positive mental attitude includes practicing mindfulness, positive self-talk, practicing self-care, and a lot more. This requires lots of hard work and patience. Having a positive mental attitude doesn't just mean ignoring the negativity and challenges that occur throughout the day. There is no way to completely get around life's challenges, no matter how happy and positive you are. Instead, maintaining a positive mental attitude involves approaching the challenges and less fortunate parts of life with a clear and open mind. It's taking those negative situations and finding the good out of them or finding the lessons out of them. Now, what does that sound like? This pattern of behavior and thinking relates back to the growth mindset we discussed earlier. It also relates to positive self-talk and having mindfulness throughout tough situations. Practicing habits that are connected to mindfulness and the growth mindset will make you a more well-rounded and positive person. However, there are more aspects to maintaining a positive mental mindset daily that we will discuss. After this section, you will have a better understanding of practicing a positive mindset each and every day in ways that are less challenging than you may expect. Follow your fear. While discussing positivity, it may seem weird to mention fear. Feeling afraid isn't positive, right? Well, as we said before, maintaining a positive mindset is also about facing the challenges of the day in ways that benefit your future self. One fantastic way to practice a positive mindset is to follow your fears. Doing so gives you a chance to practice having a growth mindset by finding all the ways you can learn and grow from the situation. It gives you a chance to become mindful to sift through your thoughts and fears, to discover why a situation makes you fearful. Finally, it gives you the opportunity to practice positive self-talk by encouraging yourself before, during, and after the situation. Following your fears is exactly how it sounds. If something is making you feel afraid or anxious, such as talking to a certain person or asking your boss for a promotion, you should do the thing that is making you afraid. When you do the things that you are afraid of, you train yourself to not be afraid of those things anymore. You may surprise yourself by discovering how easy a task may have been. Following your fears makes you more resilient and courageous. By following some of your fears, it will make it easier to follow other fears. Then as you conquer more and more of your fears, there will be more room for positivity. Positive self-talk while doing something that makes you have a positive mindset by following and then conquering what makes you afraid. Be optimistic. Having a positive mindset on the daily is all about optimism. Finding the positive side to every situation broadens your perspective and forces you to find positive outcomes to life's challenges. Optimism sounds a lot like the growth mindset, right? To be more optimistic, you take the negative parts of life and reframe them into positive outcomes and lessons. It's finding the good within the bad. If you can find good in the toughest of situations, then it becomes a lot easier to remain positive and level-headed when something bad happens. Practice gratitude every day. Gratitude has been discussed before as it is super important to maintain a positive attitude. It is very easy to practice gratitude and you can make a five-minute habit out of it. If you have five minutes of your day to spare, spend it being grateful for what you have. Practice gratitude easily by using a journal. Each morning, night, or any time of day that you want to develop the habit, write down something you are grateful for in your journal. If you are having a difficult time thinking of things you are grateful for, consider the following. Family, friends, education, possession, an event that took place during the day, an interaction that took place in the day, an opportunity, a tasty meal. Being grateful can include big things like being grateful for the people in your life or being grateful to have an opportunity to do something you were dreaming of. On the other hand, being grateful can include the tiny things like receiving a compliment from a stranger on your hair or that your coffee was especially good today. You can be grateful for anything in your life and by writing those things down, you practice finding positivity every single day. Even on the days when nothing seems to go well, practicing gratitude will help you find something good from the day. Then it becomes so much easier to find positivity within the day outside of your gratitude habit. With gratitude comes positivity. By practicing gratitude every day, you practice having a positive mindset every day. Being kind to others. We have talked so much about finding positivity in our own lives and within ourselves. But what about sharing that positivity with other people? Attitudes are contagious. You can light up a room with a smile or darken it with a grumpy attitude. By choosing to share kindness with other people, 
you spread positivity. That shared positivity will lift other people's spirits, which in turn will lift up yours. When you lift up other people's spirits and make them more positive, this can create a cycle of positivity where you will feel better and happier by making other people feel good. Being kind to others doesn't have to take that much work out of your day. It can be a compliment towards another person or picking up that item they drop. When you are at a social event, make pleasant conversations with not just the outgoing people, but also with the shy and more reserved people. You never know if another person may be struggling to break out of their shell and interact more with others. And you could help them. By being kind to others, you can end up with so many more friends in your life. What's better than that? Don't take things personally. The sad truth about cultivating a positive mindset is that while you are doing so much work to find positivity each day and putting more focus on the positive aspects of life, not everyone is doing the same. Instead, you will certainly come across people who only want to practice a negative mindset. When experiencing disagreements with other people, you might find yourself in a situation where negative things have been said. Now, while you can't control how other people treat you and you certainly can't control their emotions, you can control how you respond to those events. Instead of reacting negatively to something someone has said, don't hold a grudge and let it go. Sometimes the other person said it out of the heat of the moment, if they were having a bad day or were just told negative news. Now it is okay to have an emotional reaction to these events. We aren't saying that you can't feel angry, sad, or even hurt, but these comments, your emotions are valid, and if someone said anything that was especially problematic to you, then that should be addressed and communicated upon. However, for the smaller things, it does you a bigger favor to let things go and not take them personally. Don't let other people's negativity drag you down. Letting other people's comments get to you chips away at your positivity. When you don't take things personally, you have more room for positive thinking and having a growth mindset. Surround yourself with other positive people. Creating a community of those who strive to cultivate a positive mindset makes it much easier for you to cultivate a positive mindset. The people who only focus on the negative and always have a bad attitude drag others down and spread their negativity. By taking yourself away from those people and surrounding yourself with other positive people, you create a healthier environment with others who have the same values as you. The people close in your life have a huge impact on your way of thinking and your mindset. Instead of surrounding yourself with people who only want to bring you and or themselves down, surround yourself with those who want to continue growing and reaching for the sky's limit. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, hit the subscribe button, and remember to click on the notification bell. Thanks for watching.